How's it going, my Gs? Second time making this video because I forgot to turn the mic on the first time round and the audio was non-existent. However, it's a quick video, so it won't take me long to do it again. I felt very demotivated this morning and I just couldn't be bothered to make any videos. Um, but then I spent the whole day making music and I made, I started making a new track and it brought, brought me back a bit of um, life again. <laughs> so uh, this evening, I'm cooking a pizza, you know, but I thought I'll share this little nugget with you because I really enjoy this. And this is, again, uh, the same company, Spectra Plugins, that I did a f that did the free download of the Spacer. Someone said the plugin is not free anymore, but I I, I don't know if I can believe that because I just went on the, onto the website again and I looked again and this one and Spacer and the other one uh, all seem to be free. It says on their website that they've ended their whatever and everything's available to download for free so i don't know if you're using a different different link or whatever but you know i'm 99 percent sure that it's still free anyway <laughs> either way this plugin is dope i've been loving it i've been using it to produce with today uh, to change the timbre and texture of some of my background layers and i've just been going through the presets on it and there's a cool little thing i've just done to this reese here where I've just mixed in the dry wet, so it kind of makes the Reese a bit more lo-fi. You know, that sounds awesome to me. Um, just going through like the different presets that are available, um, you can like quite easily find a new sort of way to give the the sound that you're working on like a different timbre tone texture and it's especially useful for those layers and sounds in your track that just don't quite fit with the rest of your mix yet you know because there's like something off the pitch isn't quite right or the timbre is just too weird and different and that is a great time where you can use something like this the ocs 45 cassette simulation Go through some of the presets. You tweak it yourself if you want, of course. Uh, but there's load. There's loads on there. And, you know, it's often just to save time to flick through them until the timbre sounds good and it fits with the rest of the track. You know. Um, but what a wonderful plugin, I would say. Um, I've been blown away by this one and the spacer. Um, uh, just probably both going to be regularly regularly used in my production now um yeah i love free stuff and um i love free stuff that sounds good and does it that does the job because i had some tape plugins before uh there was another i think there was another free one i used to use which was oh yeah um oh it's going to be difficult for me to find it quickly but i believe it was maybe it was the t a tl i think the tb tb real bus the tone boosters real bus which is like a demo but um it that you can use the demo forever and that is a great tape thing but um this one has like more options i believe in terms of the yeah the presets and i think just the the amount of different sort of colors it has so you know the idea is just to bring this video to a close um, when you're trying to make a really creative track with a lot of intricate layers and different things and using different samples, using Foley, using like different synths here and there, things don't often match up well together perfectly. You know, you uh, you have to find those sounds that naturally fit with each other. And when there's so a sound that doesn't quite feel like it fits, what you can do is you can use a tape saturation like this, for example, and just modify the sort of timbre and tone of it so that it will fit with the rest of your song. Like that's my favorite way to use tape saturation and why to use it. And it is a really, really um, great tool when you when you use it um, in that for that purpose, you know? It can help you to fit those extra weirder sounds into your mix down and make them feel like they fit a bit better. So yeah, that's one way. And then obviously doing stuff like this with the Reese. You know, giving it, automating it on a bit of a lo-fi effect and then automating it off again, for example. Uh, that's just one way you can do it. Anyway, that was just a little tip for you guys today. Uh, I'll try to have motivation again tomorrow for something else valuable to share. If not, then I'll see you very soon. Peace out. Much love.